Uh, so, um, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm fireworks I'm, factory. Fireworks. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> by the way, uh, Gilbert is all elite. Oh, absolutely. That absolutely I, um i will i will let me let me just state my position on that match i enjoyed it uh i i you know as as a death match i like the fireworks coming off of the ropes i thought they looked cool um i like the inventive ways they used it barbed wire always makes me squeamish um as far as a blood match i think it was not that bad uh, uh, I will, I will say on the end of it, you can, you cannot convince me that this was, that the ending was the plan the whole time. No, <laughs> you no, cannot convince not. me that that was, that was not the plan. Uh, and, and throwing the, the shade on Omega who put over the fact that he built this thing a la Undertaker creating Yokozuna's casket, mm -hmm. uh, to, to murderize, uh, Dean, Dean Ambrose. Um, so, so like, like I, the, the only way they can pass the buck is that I saw someone tweet this is if Kenny Omega, um, trusted Michael Nakazawa to do the wiring. I'm wait, And that did not happen on BTE this week. No, though. it didn't. But, it was unfortunate. but, but that, I'm like, that's something we're going to see on a side note, side note, Maki Ito member of dark order. Potentially. I, I do. I, I screamed. Yeah. At one o'clock in the morning, when I watched this thing last night, <laughs> like ah, <laughs> so just like when she came out on on Sunday night, yeah. Uh, so because uh, Anna Anna J has been injured, and they're like, who could possibly replace Anna? What are we going to do without Anna? And then here she comes yes. into the room, and now Maki Ito has to be number sixty nine, right? Absolutely, absolutely, she has to be number sixty nine. Jeez, um, <laughs> this was this was a soft death death match. Yeah, uh, I, I, I have three notes on the death match. Okay, go for it. And then Jim, uh, you're next. Four, four, and then and then Jim. Yes, yeah, so, sorry. Um, I thought their first match was better. The lights out one. Um, the using the explosion for a kick out of the one winged angel was a nice touch. Mm -hmm. That was very very good. That was very well done. Side note, Bryce. Yeah, was fantastic. He he, he was the beekeeper for one division. He was. But, but um, I I thought the the only spot I thought was really cool was the baseball bat one mm -hmm. with the exploding baseball this bat. That really the, cool. the bat exploding surprise you? Yeah. Uh, no, didn't didn't surprise me. I w I appreciated it. Though. It wasn't just like a oh well, well that happened. No, 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 okay. it didn't surprise me. Um, Eddie Kingston is owed. <laughs> was that that you said that, or was that another because tweet? I think I've also seen it on Twitter, but as soon as I, because he was selling the fuck out of it, mm -hmm. and I saw Eddie Kingston run in, I'm like, oh, this is actually a really cool moment. This is this is love. This is Steve Rogers diving on the grenade in Captain America. Like, and I was waiting for. It. I'm like, this is great. And then what happens happens. But Eddie Kingston still sells it like death. <laughs> and I'm like, give this man the world title already. Give him the world title. Give him something. Like, he, he needs something. He is too good to not be a major focus in AEW. Mm -hmm. that, that, and that's, it. That's, that's, that's my piece. All right. All right. Uh, Jim Lamada, what are you? What is your take on the death match? Explain bar wire death match to end all, and I believe the first ever in the America. I have a few thoughts, Sorg, and um, it's going to kind of ducktail off of what you and Mike have touched on. I will say this: I was extremely disappointed, um, the same way everybody else was, and I'll tell you why. FMW is my favorite Japanese wrestling promotion ever. So when I saw Onita on Dynamite last week and they used FMW clips to hype up this match, you gave the audience an idea of what to expect. Here's what AEW needs to learn from this, in my opinion, because Tony Khan's a billionaire and I'm sitting here talking to you. So clearly he's in better shape than I am. Do not overhype or promote a stipulation you cannot deliver on. Mm-hmm. Total dud, and unfortunately, no matter how good the match was before that happened, 
Revolution will be known as the pay-per-view with the Billy Joe Bob Backyard Fireworks Sparkworks Extravaganza. The cover story that they're going to say Omega built a faulty explosion isn't going to work. Tony Khan doubled down with that explanation. Mm -hmm. If the explanation is it's a dud, then why was Eddie Kingston dead for several minutes? Yeah. And laying there winning a Grammy for, you know, taking the bullet for his friend. And the poor guy, I like, didn't see the explosions to know how they went. Oh, he didn't. Yes. In in this scenario, if it was made, but again, Tony Khan's a billionaire, so who am I to criticize? I think this is one of those scenarios where you go, hey, guys, sorry, we tried. Yeah. Things happened. This yeah. didn't work out. Well, so uh, you go and try to make it part of the story, you make the fans feel like you're insulting their intelligence. Yes. Um, two things on that. First of all, also remember Tony Khan didn't make his fortune off of wrestling like Vince McMahon did. Uh, <laughs> so we do have a margin for error there, don't we? Uh, again, pull off the mask to see Carter. Uh, and also, his football team ain't exactly successful either. So let's, mm, you know, flip in it. Flip in it Yes, yeah, so just seeing Ryan Edmonds' uh, Facebook page during the season tells me tells me what that story is. Uh, <laughs> oof, oof, he is not happy during the season. So, uh, but the, uh, so, so there's that. I had a second point, and I'm sorry I missed it. Uh, but, <laughs> what was oh. it about Moxley's post-match interview? Uh, because we should touch on that. Yeah, yeah, because that's where we got the you know the guy's a badass, but he can't ex- he can't design an exploding death match worth a shit. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, so uh, I had to bleep something on just Pro Wrestling News podcast. Please subscribe on your uh, podcast provider. Uh, anyways, uh, but uh, no, it's um, yeah, I don't know. It's I I enjoyed it. I I'm laughing at the end of it. Um, because it was one of those, I, oh, oh, Tony Khan did cover his ass a little bit about the, what did you expect for us to actually blow up the ring and yes, ki- kill, because that's what you and kill people. That, so that, that's what they, they promoted. That is what Tony, that, that is what Kenny match. Omega did. Yes. Oh, yes. You're absolutely right. That's a hundred percent. Cause it's not like they actually blow up the ring in FMW either. Like, like they don't. Yeah. You, you can't, you can't try to double back if you're Tony Khan and sell, well, we, we couldn't do this for safety wise. Mm-hmm. If you couldn't do it for safety wise, then just don't have the stipulation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Ultimately. And again, I'm a huge supporter of AEW. I want to see them do well for the sake of the wrestling business. But at the end of the day, if you can't deliver on your stipulations, you burn some of the goodwill that you build up with the people, you know, you can't have the goodwill with the fans and then double back on something like this. And that's why I think they would have been way better off to just say, Hey, it didn't work. Sorry, we tried. Everybody's human. But to try to double down and uh, come up with a swerve to cover it, not going to work. People know it was just a dud. And again, if you can't if you can't fulfill your stipulations, then you don't promote it because if this happens and it's just bad will with the people. Absolutely. Uh, and I want to know what the Moxley death cage was. Because Kenny Omega was talking about that. When they had their, you know, Undertaker building the casket segment, there was nothing of the sort in that match. Well, I, I think you've he, he heard the entire thing. Oh, also, I will, I have pointed out <laughs> that the drawing that was used to demonstrate the Kenny Omega plan did not reflect the final product. Not even close. So, did you see some poor, poor fucking Mark got part of that drawing tattooed on him? No. Yeah. No. Some fucking Mark. <laughs> His name was Mark. I ne- I never drop a hard M on this show. <laughs> Jesus. Some yeah. fucking Mark. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Jesus Christ. That's yeah. that, that's not what you want. Mm-mm. 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 Um well, you know, cover up tattoos are all the rage. Uh, so <laughs> with that, hey, uh, uh, we're going to cut to was, me. Was, was there anything else from the pay per view you want to talk? I about? think that's the biggest stuff out of those twelve matches. <laughs> so uh, it was, it was fun. It was fun, and uh, and it was good to watch it with people again. Well, we did, did. I mean, we should we should mention Scorpio Sky is now. Oh, uh, he's the uh, he's the Golden Sonic, Donut holder. Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, yeah, he is the Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. Um. Jeez. 
brass ring was the brass life preserver. It, that was a comically huge flat brass ring. It was. It was. I was just like, wait. Oh, wait, they're little? Wait a minute. I was waiting yeah. to see Tom Hotman show up in his tugboat outfit and, you know, fish out. The <laughs> Listen, 